welcome to a new weekly vlog weekly vlog yes that was a really beautiful intro to the new vlog welcome welcome let me just sort my lighting out ta-da not sure that did me any favors at all um what's happened is it's tuesday lunchtime i didn't film yesterday anything you honestly didn't miss anything i just did a few errands and whatnot um i'm going to go and get my nails done because my they've they've grown out a lot there is a man very close to my car i will not make eye contact with okay he's moved on great um we're gonna go and see chloe who does my nails and i'm gonna ask her how she's getting on with her new year's resolution what i would like for you to do is com pause the video and comment below if you can remember what her new year's resolution was and if you do you get nine glitter points also what has happened today is i have done my eyebrows my mascara and a bit of like eyeshadowy stuff and my lipstick but i have not done my foundation i've put some powder on i've done a bit of bronzer like i just forgot I forgot the basics today. It's the kind of woman I am, so um running a bit late actually. Miss Q. Um, here we go. Let's go and see how she's got on with the resolution. I'll just get a little arty shot of my feet on the floor so that you know that I'm walking somewhere, telling a story. Here we go. Let's see how she's getting on. Hi. Hello. Hello. All the viewers at home would like to know. <laughs> How you, Chloe Wanky, are getting on with your New Year's resolution? Great, yeah. I feel like I've achieved such a lot in such a short space of time this year. Beautiful. Thank you. Then just a really beautiful. Just a beautiful thing. I love it. I just love it. It's times like this that I wish I had like five pairs of hands. Do you want to go out? Cut one to go. Come on then. Come on. Um, we picked up Dottie from school. It's about quarter to four and we're gonna go and see Beauty and the Beast tonight. I'm taking her and her friend. So I've got like half an hour to get dinner done because by the time it finishes, it'll be almost bedtime so there's not gonna be time to eat afterwards. I'm just doing a microwave spaghetti bolognese because CBA or anything else. Gonna get that done. Get going, I'm really excited. Oh God, that's really hot. God bless convenience food we've got the car loaded up with boyfriend child my child abby i'm borrowing you so you're my daughter for the next three hours how do you feel about that happy pretty good abby has never seen beauty and the beast at all not but even the song well. not even the actual cartoon what are you most looking forward to the song yeah i guess i'm gonna get up and dance to it i'm gonna stand on my chair and dance to it would you like that B. You're not at the ages where that's embarrass embarrassing yet, are you? <laughs> Would that be embarrassing if me and Liam got up on the chairs and started dancing? Uh, yeah. Or cool? Uh, I, I don't think really it would know. be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. How cute. I didn't tell them to walk like this. Darcy just adores Abby because she's a bit older. Abby, how old are you now? Nine. Nine. Darcy thinks she's like the coolest kid ever. We're home from the cinema and I'm about to do some work, so I've got got some sustenance. I just wanted to show you this. This is Darcy's Easter bonnet that I made last week. Um, it's just a regular bonnet that I got from Hobbycraft, and then I've gone for like a birds in a nest theme. They've laid pink speckled eggs because they're very magical birds, obviously. I mean, they're gold with with cream and gold plumes. So of course, they're magical birds. Um, I've got some of their rabbit friends down here. And the piece de resistance. Let me just turn the lights down. Three, two, one. <gasps> yes. If Darcy doesn't win the Easter bonnet parade, I will eat my hat. Um, I drew inspiration for this from my book. There is a scene in my book with an Easter bonnet. So when you get to that scene, you will know and you'll be like, ah. Oh. So I won't tell you any more. This is not like the Easter bonnet in it, but drew inspiration from it. So there we are. It's like, what's that phrase? Like life follows art or something like that. There we are. <laughs> right, time for me to do some writing and go to bed. Look at the time. Yep, that's what time it is. Also, I can do that 
with my hair. These are the things that you find out about yourself at <laughs> 3 a.m. Wow. Fashion and style vlogger extraordinaire. Mm -mm -mm. I bet you're all glad that you're subscribed to me and you watch this video. I mean, you could be watching um, people show you how to eat clean or provide you with amazing style tips or just be like being perfect in their lives, but instead, you're here. Welcome, you made a good choice. Welcome everybody. This is clapping, but I can't, there we go. That's clapping. Um, I've just finished doing some wildlife me work. I didn't want to tell you that because I don't want you all to be like super bored of hearing about it, especially after my little cry last week. But because I cried last week, I thought I ought to let you know that this week I'm not crying and it's fine. <laughs> it's the exact same as it was last week, but guess what? I'm not raging all over my body this week. Hormones, yeah. Um, I don't know why I did. So I get really bad hormones every single month. I get terrible, like premenstrual hormones. <laughs> and I know this. I know this in my brain. And also, I can see it because my face gets really puffy and I get like spots all around here. Um, and I find it really hard to make choices and decisions. And I get really ratty and I find everything very overwhelming. So when I'm in that moment, I don't know why I don't just go. This is not real, this is my chemicals making me crazy. But I really do feel it every month. Every month I don't just go, what, don't do this. Just be chill. Uh, but instead I just have my little like, breakdowns and this time I shared it with you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Today's been a good day actually. Um, it's just been nice to get stuff done. And then have, uh, oh, Beauty and the Beast, so amazing. Uh, I've seen it before, so I knew I would love it. But I watched it again and spotted little extra things. I was like, yes, I fucking love it. So it was really happy about that. And Darcy had a nice time. Um, and then I put her to bed. And oh, now I'm, now I'm going to go to bed myself. Like a solid, what, six, seven, eight hours later. I have a question for you before I go to bed. Oh, I've been talking. What time to put your children to bed? Mums, please write in the comments. My child is such and such old, I put them to bed at such and such time because I have always been a seven o'clock bedtime mother for Darcy for as long as, or well, since she was like in a sleeping routine, it's been seven o'clock. And then I noticed that she's waking up at like half six, if not earlier, like six to half six every morning lately, like the last few months, and she comes to get into bed with me. If I put her to bed at half past seven, she doesn't wake up at six, half six, she wakes up at like seven-ish. So, is that better? I feel like it is, because she doesn't need to get up until seven in the morning anyway, so I don't want her to be like waking up a whole hour extra, and then like wasting all her energy and stuff. Um, but then is half seven too late for a six-year-old, or is it like a, you know your six-year-old best? I'm interested, just for some mum chat. <gasps> On that, hmm. Okay, tomorrow, what do we have in store tomorrow? I think maybe going to the new house tomorrow. To do, yeah, definitely doing some bits there. This is the face of a woman that worked till 4 a.m. Um, oh, I just did the school run, looking like this, I might add. <sighs> I'm gonna have a two hour sleep. I've emailed Maddie and I was like, don't, don't call me, I'm gonna have a two hour sleep. And then I'm gonna go out in the day <sighs> tired. Goodness me, I was so tired. It's like two o'clock now. I slept for a long time. This is a problem with trying to do everything. So during the day, I like do my errands and do my mummy stuff and do like YouTube bits and admin and blah, blah, blah. And also like I'm not productive during the day. I just like, I do fanny around quite a lot. And then at night, I just sit on the sofa and I can like write for like four hours straight and get loads done. But then it's like 3 a.m. and then I have to do the school run and then I sleep and then I'm like getting into this really bad cycle, which I don't like, but the end is in sight. So I think probably it's gonna be okay to have this terrible cycle for now. Um, today's not too bad a day actually in terms of stuff to do, which is great. Um, so I'm just gonna have some lunch or breakfast, I suppose. I'm having, um, you know, yes, I've ordered a convenience food, but I also picked up the broccoli and cheese bake, so I'm just gonna have 
like that. Oh, my kitchen is a disaster. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Don't judge me. Ugh. Ugh. Just everywhere you look, it's a mess. Also, my bathroom is hideous. So I think I might do a spot of speed cleaning because you always comment that you like that kind of stuff. So I need to do some cleaning so we can kill all the birds with one stone. Except don't kill birds. Let's have some food. Where can I put you? Um, God. Let's just do this. Let's just tidy up. Um, I was just gonna get Darcy a birthday cake, but I've ended up buying quite a lot of stuff. So I've got the mummy guilt because last year I ordered Darcy like a full, amazing, cut three tier castle birthday cake with a figurine of her on it. But this year I'm um, just getting this one because oh my god, I'm losing everything. I'm doing the party by myself this year, um, so obviously it's quite a lot of cost. So we're gonna go for this one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and put some candles on it and then I've also got this one because there won't be enough to feed all the children so we'll bring this one out for the grand unveiling and then this one to go in party bags got a little easter egg me an easter egg and then two things I'm really excited about these glasses with this like rainbow effect is the camera picking that up? how gorgeous are they? wine glasses for my wine needs and then this mop I know I'm so excited about it, £17 bargain and you put your washing floor stuff in here and then you use this like a gun and go ch 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 and squirt it out and I'm really excited about that. What do you do for these? How do you wash these? Machine maybe? Microfiber? Oh, so I'm having a great time. Liam's gone to go and get another trolley because I was like, shit me babe, we need more space. It's hours later. I've been home, done some bits, and we've come to another supermarket because Liam and I just bloody love a supermarket. We've come to Aldi to get some bits for dinner because it's cooking for me. Um, and I love Aldi. Look at these natural looking flowers. These, I'm just gonna, these essentials. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I like Aldi because everything's in mad places so you can get some potatoes or a paving brush get some carrots or some china wellies non-brand chocolate or this speciality pretty poses sunflower fiber optic photo frame it's got everything at Aldi never seen anyone put things on a conveyor belt as anally as Liam does are these put in the bags that you're going to put them in? That's how you've done it, isn't it? Yeah, amazing, amazing. Right, we are ending the evening with a large glass of rosé and half an Easter egg. I don't know what happened to the other half. It came like this. I definitely didn't eat that already. So, oh, okay, oh there we go. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I woke up at Liam's and realised I hadn't brought any of my stuff. Um, so I've come to the new house uh, looking like this. Um, in my pyjamas and um, we've got so much going on my battery is about to die any second I need to go home and charge my camera um, we've got a lot going on the fridge freezer is being delivered right now the cat flat people are here I've just had my Simba mattress ordered for my guest room what can you see in the background? oh you can see a little let's show you you can see this is the guest room I'll show you so this is my guest room um, I've got a Simba mattress which I'm really excited about I'm about to open it but it's vacuum packed so I want to open it on camera because I think that'll be hilarious um, and then this is the little ensuite for guesty poos um, just bought some bits I think I'm going to move this somewhere else but this is like the, the bathroom set that I'm going to give guests it's all copper and they've got a little copper bin as well they're just from Asda and a little shower um, and a towel from, where are you from? Sainsbury's, I just need to cut this off. Uh, and a skylight, yeah. So today is a day of getting things done, um, taking deliveries. I've got a salon appointment later. I've got loads of work to do as well, um, like some editing bits and some writing bits. 
that's the cat flap man done. Um, so it's a really nice, nice getting, getting shit done day. And then it's London tomorrow. Yeah. That's it. Oh, it's an exciting clip, isn't it? There we go. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Nice thing there, waiting for some ice cold beer going here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got a little, little cat flap there and a man. Don't worry, he's installing it. It's not just a stranger outside my house. Right. How do we? So, I'm, I'm Yeah, it's popping up, isn't it? Good afternoon to you. It's really, oh, this ceiling bit. I will not miss this little chunk of ceiling because every time I vlog, I must get my hand taken off. Um, it is very warm. That's what I want to tell you about. It's really warm. Um, today has been a day. My battery died whilst I was, um, where can I put to you? Basically, I'm not wearing my jeans right now. Um, long story short, but I'm living between three houses right now. I'm living between this house that you can see here, my new house, which was at this morning very briefly, and also Liam's house because I stay there quite a lot. So here's my jeans. Let's go and put these on Don's the lounge and I can chat to you whilst I'm doing it and then we can be time efficient. If I put you here, are you gonna see anything you don't want? This shirt, by the way, oh yeah, this is from Primark. Um, I got it a size small, it's um, a size 16 and normally I get size 18s and things, but I wanted it to be more of a fitted shirt and then I think it's meant to be like a super loose shirt. Don't mind me, just getting dressed on the internet. Um, one sec, oh yeah, you have to do that like wiggle to get yourself fit and let me just go here to do this. Right, I'm about to go to the salon to have my hair washed and blow dried. I'm sure many of you know that I just go to the salon once a week to have my hair washed and blow dried because I feel like it dramatically enhances my life. And for 20 pounds, I'm up for a bit of life enhancement. Um, I wish that my camera didn't die this morning at the new house because I was going to film for you a, a dressing room tour. Um, and tomorrow I'm in London, so I'm not gonna have a chance to do that this week. But I promise you, I hate making promises because it makes me nervous that I won't keep them. I'm just going to be so chewing them up. <sighs> it's better. I promise you that next week there will be a dressing room tour of the new house. I'll open the drawers. Um, there's nothing inside them at the moment. I've only just started moving things in. I like to have two chewing gums because I like to really feel it in my mouth. <laughs> Do what you like with that in your window. Yes, then being sat in traffic for ages. Total change of pace. My car's broken. I noticed that my car wasn't driving properly, like when I was pushing on the accelerator, it wasn't accelerating the way it normally does. Um, and a thing flashed up and said limit 21 miles on this bit here, on this little do flip. And luckily it's really heavy traffic because it's rush hour, but it was, re it was a really odd sensation not being able to control the car. Like it's really freaked me out that I was like pushing on the accelerator and it wasn't controlling the car the way I can usually control it. Um, I don't know if you remember, if you've been watching me years and years, you remember I used to have like a huge fear of the motorway and I used to be really fearful of driving. It's only since having my own car um, when Matt and I separated and obviously he wasn't there to drive me around, I had to force myself to do it and got good at it and comfortable and confident because I really trust this car and then not having control over it then just really freaked me out. So I've driven to the BP garage, which is the nearest one and Liam's gonna come to it and help me. Um, but just then, when I shut the car down, it said brake system with exclamation mark drive moderately. So I don't know if it's my brakes or what, but I'm really shook up. I don't like it at all. So wish me luck that this will all pan out. Uh, obviously, well, it just needs to go to a garage, like a not like this garage, like an actual the mini garage, and get fixed. But I don't know how I'm gonna get home from here. I'm not not feeling not feeling too great about this actually. Shit me. I got home, take my shoes off. I got home in the end, my brake pads need to completely replace it. I can't remember what I said in the car when I was having a stress at the garage. Liam came and like rescued me. Uh, I wasn't gonna talk about it in this vlog, but today so many things have gone wrong. So many things have gone wrong, so many. And I was like, don't talk about this in the vlogs. People don't wanna see like so much like whinging all the time. 
Oh, what did I put my face in it? Then I just like, oh god! Oh, my car. Um, my maid.com order is a messed around. Um, a few things in the house have broken and gone wrong. So many deadlines for things. Oh! <laughs> so like. <laughs> Um, you've got to laugh, haven't you? You've got to laugh or you'll cry. That's what they say. I already did cry earlier today because I cry at fucking everything. Oh, on top of that, oh God, someone's calling me now. Someone's calling me now. Hang on a minute. Hello, my love. We're going out. Emma and I, come and say hello. Emma and I are going to go and have a glass of something fizzy, which is not how you should deal with stress at all. The two are completely unrelated. Should I just put trainers on? No, come on, be a grown up. Put some grown up shoes on. I forgot to film in there, in the pub. It, uh, it's there. It was really nice. My contact lenses are hurting me a bit now. It's making me do this a lot. Um, and that's the end. Bye for tomorrow. Till, till see, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Being in London makes me feel really alive, which is the corniest, cheesiest thing ever. But there's something. Oh my god! I don't want to get run over by that motorbike. There's something about being here and everyone being in a rush and so many people and so many things and so many adverts and just ah, just makes my like mind feel good. I don't think I could live here full time, but sometimes when I'm at home for a long period of time, I start to feel a bit like suffocated by just domestic life. I like to be able to have the best of two worlds. I'm so lucky that I get to have like my mummy life, but also my career life. Um, Today I'm going to YouTube to meet with some other top creators, because I'm a top creator, you know, um, and Susan, and I cannot pronounce her surname, it's like Wojkiki is how it's spelled, but that is, I have just butchered that lady's surname. She is the CEO of YouTube, like the big bad boss of YouTube, so I'm going to go meet with her and have a round table talk about the platform and supporting it and improving it and all that sort of stuff. There might be other stuff to talk about as well, but that's what I know so far. <gasps> so, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really missing Darcy today. Forget get out of the way, these people. I was reading a book on the train called The Cows by Dawn Porter, and in that book, there's a little girl, Annie, who reminds me of Darcy. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen her since Wednesday morning. So, there's the pros of being divorced and having split custody is I have the freedom to have such a big career ah! but the cons are I miss my baby girl anyway let's go to YouTube and not get run over ah! on my walk to the place Hi! I met Tiffany who's a viewer you're the, the only from viewer California. In my, from California yeah, what are you doing over here? School what for are you the um, I'm studying integrated digital media <laughs> So I'm doing yeah. my humanities here. I'm in an architecture class right now. Is that why you're yeah, at this beautiful building? Architecture for St. Pancreas. Oh, well, give Tiffany a nice little message. Say good luck with your course. Thank you. She was the nicest, friendliest girl. I really liked her. You know, when you meet some people, you're like, I like you. You're like on my wavelength. I liked her. She was good. I'm doing well with my walk to YouTube. Feeling really chuffed with myself because normally I would have chickened out and just got a cab. But doing it, braving it. Being a, being a big girl. YouTube is over there. Um, there's all these screens and I'm I'm on a screen. Just, that's just so surreal to be here and then like, there, there we are just on screens like in the middle of London. What? This is so cool. This is really, I'm having some sort of, having some sort of like weird, I don't know. I didn't know this was here, like all my friends and like people I know were all on screens. Is this always here? Is this just for today? YouTube is so weird. YouTube is so weird. I started this when I was in my like pregnant and didn't know what to do with my life. I was just bored and it was a hobby. And I just thought this will fill my time until the baby comes. And now I'm like <laughs> there. I'm about to go meet the CEO of YouTube. I'm having a weird mind blown moment. Uh. 
What did you say? This is very Louise in here. They knew I was coming. I was like, yo, good girl, I'm coming. So could you get the exact sort of decor that I want, please? Let's get on this one. So we can um, I did know I've, I've pocketed the drink. <gasps> they knew I was coming, so they even got Diet Coke then. <sighs> I gave up Diet Coke for Lent. Doing really well. Put Just it down to one can a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, isn't it? I've cut out other things, but now I'm like addicted to Diet Coke. I could never try real drugs, I'd be in trouble. Whose hands are these? Oh yeah. Oh, oh I gave it? it away by making noises. Hi! <laughs> Best massage ever. That's not true at all. No, it's not even top five. Wait, she'll say anything to make you like her. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't seen each other in like a month, and that's the first thing I say. Sorry. Hello, vlog. That's uncomfortable, isn't it? Yeah, please. Yeah, oh, my paws hate get. you. Everyone's very excited by my amazing new bag. Okay, go on then, go on then. Go on then. We love it. And Jim, you write something. Okay, mine's probably the most important. Yeah. There we go. Thanks, Jim. You're welcome. Alfie here, can't see him. So, oh, there you are. That camo, it gets me every time. It's hard to see. I know. Where's Alfie? Where's Alfie? <laughs> YouTube have pulled out all the stops with the. Are these real? Yes. They're real. Oh my god. No expense spared at YouTube HQ. <laughs> Click on the ads and. and what we get. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to cut Flat that out? Nurse, <laughs> okay. And a, and a bu what are these? What are these? So I'm just like pushing chairs over to get to these. Look at these. And some things. I'm more excited for the snacks than I am for what we're actually doing. Please ask her questions. I'm sure she's going to ask. Really lovely. Is that in the bag? Yeah. She was actually hired to Google when she was four months pregnant with the first child. Oh. Anyway. What? What, are you taking the pillow? Hey guys, it's a what's in my bag haul, <laughs> YouTube freebie edition, cushion. Um, and you know, and so she just really wants to get to know guys. 3D glasses. Know who you are, remember the face of your name. Hoodie. Yeah. And then she goes back to California's birthday, This is not working here. So, this is not working here. What? We've had a little talk. Now, how did you find our informal chat? I'm a, I'm a listener, I'm not a speaker. Well, you, I thought you did great listening. Yeah, I did listening. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted my tongue to creep in and it's been really weird. Now it looks like I'm some kind of pervert. You want your tongue when I'm born, like I'm not. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, we're gonna. We're all gonna do a picture. And it's gonna be yeah. so good. Like the best. Do your best face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Let me do it again. So we're gonna hit his ring. Before I go home with my big old bag of swag from YouTube, I thought I would um, just talk to you for a minute about that. It was so great. It was so good. Susan, um, the CEO of YouTube. I'm gonna walk and talk. I was just gonna say it, but we'll walk. Um, she's so inspiring. A, just because she's got a cool job and she's worked hard and she's at the top of her game. But what I love most is that she's a woman with five children and she's done it. And I told her that afterwards, I was like, I have a five year old and I feel guilty all the time. Every day that I work and I don't pick her up from school, I have to have someone else it for me or I put her in a school club, I feel guilty about it. Um, but I want to have a job, I want to have a career, I want to provide for her, I want to feel professionally fulfilled. I need to stop carrying things. I want to do all of those things. Um, and I asked her, I said, do you feel that guilt, that mum guilt? And she said, no, I don't feel it. And I think, like, why should she? Why do I feel guilty all the time as a mother for doing these things? Like, I want to have another child and I think, oh, is that going to set me back? No, it's not. I'm going to take a leaf out of Susan's book and just do it. Just do what I want to do, achieve all my goals. A bit awkward at the end. I was like, can I vlog you? And she was like, um, yeah. And I was like, thanks, Sarah. And I was like, that's not your name. That's not your name. So I basically called like the boss of YouTube the wrong name. And then I got so flustered that I didn't vlog her. So I'm moving. I'll insert a photo over my face right now. There you go. Proof. I didn't take a picture. Is it proof? Now I'm at Euston. Is it safe to cross? Ooh, I hope so. Now I'm at Euston. I'm going to go home um, and get my life sorted. So I think I'll leave the vlog here because tomorrow is Stas' birthday party. So I need to prep for this. 
taking pictures for Insta and stuff, but I don't know if I'll film it or not. Right, thank you so much for watching this week. I do have a favour to ask you, if you're still, is it safe to cross? You know what? Fuck it, I'm doing it. Um, I have a favour to ask you if you're still watching at this point. Below this video there's a subscribe button and next to it is the bell. If you click on the bell, it means you get a notification when I upload a video and it just sort of signals your interest in this channel. It really helps me a lot. Um, helps my videos get seen and whatnot. So if you haven't already, do click it. I'd appreciate that. And I hope you'll have a great Sunday. Some people just saw me kissing at a camera. These people, they think I'm crazy.